So we're about to wax and grease remove uh, tack cloth and we're gonna lay a base coat. Uh, we're gonna do a nice base coat. We're gonna come back tomorrow, sand it down with a 600 uh, other coat. And if it looks good, we'll clear it. If it doesn't, we'll do three coats, but I'm pretty sure it's two coats is fine. And then, uh, then we'll clear. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flowers, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Well, she's black So, we're gonna do this, all this stuff The inside, all that, I'm gonna pop the hood uh, We're probably gonna do like three coats The first one, I did miss a few spots Because I couldn't really see But, we got the whole car covered Oops, sorry guys we got the whole car covered, roof too. So this is just first coat, nothing major. We're gonna scuff it down. Second coat, we're gonna scuff down and third, hopefully it lays perfectly. Then we'll let it dry and we'll put clear. But we're definitely gonna get all this up here. Cause I got the back, I'm gonna show you. Here's the sides, roof, side, fixed quarter. The back's painted, oop, I just tripped. Here's the side you guys really wanted to see. Quarter looks nice, don't it? Looks like a whole new quarter. Like we didn't even do work. But as you can tell, you can see the grittiness. That definitely needs scuffed out. So we'll scuff it. All the spots we missed, like you can see there and here we missed. That's not an issue. This was the first base coat. So it's just to cover it. So now that it's black, this stuff will lay down easier, smoother. We'll lay it and then we'll do the third coat. We'll lay this one about four to six inches away. Third coat will probably be like eight to 10 inches away just to mist it to make sure it's wet. And hopefully it lays nice and flat. That way when we clear coat, there won't be much trash in it. There'll probably be trash, but like no bumps hopefully. So we'll see. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Next day here. As you can see, the paint looks a lot flatter. Uh, we do have some areas like where the paint didn't cover so well. That's why we're gonna do a couple coats, but um, it's looking a lot flatter. Uh, we're gonna walk around here. So the bindle didn't get completely covered up, but we'll do more coats, we'll let it dry. It's tacky right now. So we're gonna let this continue to dry. Once this is fully dry, we'll come over here, we'll scuff pad it with a 800, lay another coat, let that fully dry. We got our scuff pad here. We're gonna lightly scuff this hood. <coughs> See how much smoother that is compared to that. It sounds smoother.
Okay, so hood, pinhole filled the roof. You can see some of it will get over there. Uh, this door, piece in the quarter, this quarter. Yes, there's a lot of pinholes, I know. This isn't, they're just little dots, but the trunk, that was actually a dat, I just figured. It was really small, so I was like, whatever, that'll fill it. That was my run that I sanded. Just filled that in to level it out. More pinholes. More pinholes. Pinholes. Uh, that's pretty much it. That. Uh, we took care of this. We took care of this uh, paint bubble. That. That. Pinholes. Those pinholes. That pinhole and those pinholes. And the hood just had a bunch of little dinks in it so we got those filled in we're gonna sand this down then we're gonna wash it this should be ready for paint um that all just needs sanded down wash now we ready this is probably gonna be the biggest issue we have because we have to sand it all the way down because of all this bondo in here so we don't know we kind of want, you know, to start. All right, everyone, welcome back. Like I said, we got our paint today. It is the next day. Nice and black. So we're going to mix this up some. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause a sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. It's a nice shine, but it's running, so I don't know if we mixed it too thin or something, so I'm going to look it up, see what's going on. I've never sprayed this, and it doesn't have any instructions on the front, so I'm going to go ahead and look it up. But it looks nice, though. But let me go look this up. All right, guys. So, issue here. I read the can. It said just mix 20% with reducer, so I did that. It came out really, really drippy. And uh, so I scanned the code on the back, you know. I'm just going to scan it. Oh, you need activator. I, I, I understand, you know, paint needs activator. I get that. A lot of it does. But when on the can, it says just mix 20% with reducer. That's what I do. Scan the QR code on the back. You need activator. Now, I would have bought activator. And I would have did it. One to one. Would have mixed it up. But uh, it didn't tell me that on the, on the can. It's rookie mistake, maybe. Or is it my fault or their fault? They should have told me. They just said 20% reducer. So guess what I did? 20% reduced. Nope. Didn't work like that. So now the Impala has to wait another day. Because now I got to wet sand that when it dries. So I got to wait for that to dry, wet sand it, and now I got to wait till tomorrow when the activator gets here. Good job. Good job, guys. Put better instructions on the back. That's all I'm saying. Like, subscribe. Make me. Bring me some joy. Bring me back to happiness. You guys already bring me back happiness from liking and subscribing, so go ahead and hit that little bell too. This is going to have to be the end of the video. I'm sorry, guys, but I will have another video out soon. See you guys later.